Hey cuties, Life Wonders is enjoying the Anime Girls Festival convention again this year, so you know what that means. More pickup banners for you and me. Let's hop right to it. Lightning round! We got some new ARs printing alongside some old ones. Care to throw in a pull or two? Three, two, one, start! <laughs> Don't bother. Finally, we're getting into the meat of the content. Now, what's the transient summon cooking? Kongorilla! Buffs, buffs, buffs! If you gotta eat some of them with this unit, you're gonna have an easy win for most challenges. It's hard to talk about this unit without eat some though. Together, they provide one of the cheesiest strategies in the game. Buff shuffling. Whenever Tongaro is hit, he shares all his buffs to allies, which Itsama can then pass back, and the cycle can refresh buff duration indefinitely. Buffs exhausted in use, such as Death Mitigation, will continue persisting as long as one of the units still holds it. Tongaro can heal and revive allies after he's hit too, so Itsama will almost never exhaust Guts. The biggest risk is losing all your buffs between phases, as Tongaro won't be able to continue shuffling them if he's not hit. Not foolproof, just stupid strong and stupid fun. Fish what is this? What is this? What is this kit? Why would I ever use you? I mean, yeah, you got a bit of damage, but who are you gonna hit with that range? And why move further back? To be sure you don't hit anyone at all? To let the enemy push their zone forward. Why let your allies move further back and forth? To get back to the zone edge that's already been pushed? Whatever you're cooking, just stop already. None of your effect ranges make sense. They don't work with each other, with your attack range, with your movement range, or with anything at all. Your effects are pointless and your existence is worthless. You can go now. Bye! Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Tsukuyoshi! It's a shame this unit does something so unique, and yet so, so pointless. Tsukiyomi has the exclusive ability to refresh a target's debuffs while spreading them to nearby enemies. The problem is that all debuffs, even rare ones, are now easily spreadable with Oz and refreshable with Jurong. While it's nice to combine both on a single unit, Tsukiyomi is but a poor imitation, lacking the reliability and target totality to compete. Some other auxiliary effects include Damage Amp and Charge Fill, although these have various issues such as commonness, accessibility, and earliness. If you don't have a larger roster, Tsukiyomi can take up various important roles for challenges in a pinch. You will never be ballin' though. Sasawa. Low rate evasion tanking is something I do not like. Sasago has a microscopic chance of destroying evasion to his allies found anywhere behind him. Of course, his personal tanking is also flaccid. His reliability improves after getting his charge up at a moderate pace, but even then his team evasion tanking is still unreliable and personal tanking is still weak. You might find his team healing to be more useful, but it's nothing to write home about. With the recent rollout of reliable non-moving tanks, Sasago struggles to find a reason to exist. But you can bury yourself in his fluffy tummy and protect yourself from the truce. I take that, Cope. Shema! Life Wonders flops again for Anime Girls Festival 2023, releasing a Yu-Gi-Oh villain almost as mid as Ishbalanke was last year. Shamash punishes attacking enemies, raising their vulnerability, locking the skills, and depleting the entire enemy team's health. Bring Gorongach if you want to get more of those punishing hits in, but Shamash won't last long without the rest of your team bringing in defense, healing, and debuff mitigation, since his own defense is pathetically laughable. He gets his charge up fast, which is nice, but when you can board wipe most quests every turn, this charge will rarely matter except in cases you need a boss color for turn 2 or onward. When other units deal more damage at a greater range immediately, you'll be wondering when you'll want to bring someone who deals less at a small range on later turns. It really makes you life wonder. If it wasn't already clear, don't pull these banners. While Tongar was nice to have, he only offers a limited amount of unique perks when combined with Itsamna compared to other buff refresh setups. Shamash and Tsukiyomi mid, Sasaka and Yushblanke Garbo. 
Some of the ARs are okay, but they're not boosters and they're not reliable, so forget about them. Anniversary is coming up soon after, so it's definitely a good time to save now. If you're looking forward to a reprint of Snow Fight, Marine, Jurassic, or possibly even the After School Hero collab too. See you next time, sweet cheeks!